What's up guys, it's Brandon here, and today I have an unboxing of the Nike Plus iPod sensor and a quick setup using one of my running shoes over here. So let's get started. Here's the actual sensor. Picked it up right at the Nike outlet, about 20 bucks, 19.99. And um, this is basically for you to track how much you run, you know, the miles, um, calories burned, stuff like that, all to be sent right to your iPhone, iPod, whatever the heck you have, um, whatever Apple product you have. And I think it's a pretty cool feature because it's built right, you know, it's made to go right into the shoe. There's no attaching anything onto the laces or putting something on an an uh, your ankle or your arm. You know, it, it goes right in the shoe, you just leave it there and you're good, you know, nice and easy. So. Yeah, I decided to pick one of these up because I run track and I want to see how it works. So let's get started here. Doing this with one hand, so bear with me. Alright, so I opened it up and uh, the first thing we're going to see is the actual sensor, which I'll pull out in a second. Let's just check out what else is inside here. Alright, so it looks like we have an Apple one year limited warranty so this is an Apple product somewhat an Apple product believe it or not I wonder if we're gonna get Apple stickers but yeah this is an Apple product so you're gonna get the Apple warranty if it doesn't work you could probably send it right back to them so that's that next up more Apple Nike Plus iPod stuff so let's get a hack at this and open it up Alright, I ended up getting some scissors because this is pretty tough plastic to open. But I got it open and here it is. So, little plastic device here. Can't really make out what that says. Apple and Nike made in China. And it gives you the serial number stuff. It's a little glossy on the bottom, but I don't really care what the heck it looks like because it's going to be going in the bottom of my shoe anyway. But I mean, it's it's quite lightweight. I mean, it doesn't really... Maybe it's at least one gram, but it's it's very, very light. Pretty cool. You got the Nike logo and the Apple logo in partnership there. So, here's my shoe. Sorry about it being extremely dirty, but... Oh well. So, how do you know if it's compat compatible with the Nike Plus iPod sensor? Well, you look on the bottom here, and it should have this little logo here on the bottom of it. Or, you know, when you buy it, it should say on the box, Nike Plus iPod compatible or something like that. I mean, most of, running, most of the Nike's uh, running shoes out there, their whole running line of shoes does have this compatibility. But I mean, if you do run across um, a shoe that you question, you just gotta look on the box or just look for the logo on the bottom of them when you're trying them on, this little squishy thing. And uh, you should be good. So, how do you put this thing in? Well, what you gotta do first is pull out this insole, whatever insole you might have, and just toss it over. And then inside, you're gonna notice, it's always on the left shoe, I think. I know for most Lunar Lawns, that's the name of this this shoe, right there, it says Lunar Lawn, if you can make it out. I know for most Lunar Lawns and other um, free running shoes that Nike offers, uh, and, run, and other running shoes that Nike offers, it's it's on the left hand side, but if not, no, no big deal, just pull out the other insole and check. But anyway, it's the thing I just pulled out is just a piece of foam. I would recommend keeping this, because if for some reason, you know, this thing breaks, and you want to still continue to run, uh, you might want to put this back, that way your insole isn't, you know, sagging into this thing. But, this is what it is, this little foam piece, just chuck it off to the side. Then, you take the sensor, Nike logo, Apple logo facing up, and you just slowly put it right in to the pocket, and it just sits right like that. Alright, so I got the insole finally back in, and it's pretty much good to go, so let's take a look at my iPhone and get this thing 
all set up to go. Alright, so here's my iPhone. I'm going to go into settings. From settings, we're going to go scroll all the way down to Nike Plus iPod. And power song, all of this stuff. I mean, you could just set whatever you want. Um, uh, I haven't read the whole manual about what the power song means or spoken feedback. It's just, you know, if you want a male or female talking to you as you're running, it'll probably tell you um, how many miles you've ran and stuff like that. Distances, obviously, you want miles unless you're in Europe, kilometers. Uh, weight, put my weight in there already so it can, you know, track all of your different statistics um, and match them to your weight so lock screen just what you prefer I prefer portrait and now we're gonna actually set the calibration for the sensor walk around to activate your sensor so as I just said I'm gonna walk around now I have my shoe on and let's see if it notices anything link to sensor I didn't see the screen change, so I figured it didn't connect. So remote, I don't have any paired remotes, so I'm not going to worry about that. But it is paired and it's ready to go. So, I mean, I could pretty much just start running now and it's going to track everything um, that I do. And I could see everything else when I either connect, uh, you know, I could see all my statistics either when I connect the iPhone to the computer or I could just look at the app and see everything that I'm doing. So once I do that I would just go to Nike Plus and see all of my statistics and stuff like that. So I hope you enjoyed this little unboxing tutorial. Please take time to rate, comment, and subscribe. We do these videos just for fun and just for your amusement. So thank you very much for watching and uh, see you soon.